What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Uh, we're doing a little bit of an unboxing and testing today. I need to chop down bits of some tree. I know I said on the last video I don't chop down enough trees to need a chainsaw. Well, now I'm chopping down more trees and I need a chainsaw. So I've gone with uh, a really cheap electric one for a starter because I've never owned or used a chainsaw before. So this will be fun. Uh, I've watched hours and hours and hours of footage on safety and how to use it and how to handle it and what I should be doing. Yeah, hopefully we don't cut off some limbs. So uh, let's get into the unboxing, we'll see what it is. So this is the Titan 2000 watt electric chainsaw, it's model TTL 758CHN. Uh, it's got a 405mm bar, that should be enough for me to get through most are the bits that I'm doing. I'm not doing anything extreme, I'm not cutting down trees, I'm just going to be trimming branches and just, just doing little bits and pieces. Uh, so I went with the electric one because it was cheaper and the way I buy my tools it's buy the cheapest one that will do the job that I need and if I break it then obviously I need a better tool and go from there. If I don't break it then it's fine, I've not wasted any money on something that I don't need. So we'll get unboxing and we'll go from there. So we had to buy some chain oil because it doesn't come with the saw. Uh, I read that online. Uh, I'm not sure if it does come with it then I've got extra but uh, this stuff was the cheapest and it had some really good reviews. Uh, this does have amazing reviews. It's got around 1500 reviews about four and a half stars so I'm quite confident that's all right. Uh, I got myself a mesh visor so it doesn't fog up when I'm using it. Uh, it's got built-in air defenders as well. So uh, this was around a tenner. So let's open it up and we'll see what's in the box. That should be... So I'll turn this on its side. Get your guard, get the actual main machine. It seems alright, it's quite heavy, it's decent weight. You get your instructions, and I'm guessing that's to take this bolt off to put your bar on and run the chain around. You get your chain, it's an Oregon chain. So we'll see how that goes. And you get the bar. Again, that's quite a decent weight bar. No flux in there, nice and sturdy. And that is it. So this is everything you get in the box. Don't need that because that's paper. And the instructions. So that's everything in the box. I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to go through all the instructions and make sure I get everything right because this is a dangerous piece of kit. I don't want to get anything wrong. So I'm going to go through that and make sure everything's right and then we'll come back, we'll set it all up and we'll give it a test. Alright guys, so I've had a good read of the instructions. Uh, I think I've got a good idea of how to put it all together and how to save if you use it. So we'll start putting it all together now before it's plugged in or anything like that. So you have your multi-tool. And then you want to do this bolt here. You want to keep hold of this tool by the looks of it because that's what you use for your tensioner. This wants to be at the left side, so you want to undo this. Probably use three down place, but we give you this tool and it fits in it perfectly, so might as well use that. Especially when you're out on a job and you need to clean some chain up, you can just use this. Uh, you can reach in there and get that nice and easily. So the next step, I think it says, spread the chain out with the cutting edges of the chain pointing in a rotational direction. So we'll get rid of the guard for now, because we don't need that. Open the chain back here. Put some gloves on, just in case this is really sharp. I don't know how sharp it's going to be, but we don't want to risk cutting ourselves. Have your gloves, and we want the teeth 
to be in a rotation which is a backwards rotation. So you do get a little image on here of how to have your teeth, which is the other way. Uh, that way, so that matches up. Same as the image there, so you get your upwards bar there and then your backwards cutting tooth that way. So the blade does rotate in an anti clockwise direction. So next, you slide it onto the groove of the guide bar. I'm just going to use my table as a little helping guide onto there. You want to slide this all the way around if you can. This isn't going to be perfect because you've not got the tension there. And then you slide the guide bar on there. So when you're putting your chain on, you try and wrap your chain around here. Try and do this again, it's a little bit fiddly. You lift up, you get into that tension locking bar that you the tension locking bar that you want done on the bottom, and then you just let it fall. Don't let it fall, just lower it slowly. And then that sits like that. So it says pre-tension the chain. So we'll reach around. We'll start tensioning until it holds it fairly firmly. And there's no droop on the bottom, that's possibly a little bit too tight, I'm not sure. Let's back it off slightly. Okay. So it says proper tension is achieved when the saw chain can be lifted approximately two to four millimeters from the guide bar. And they're showing the picture. Looks like it's in the middle, so that looks okay to me. no friction in the chain moving, it's the friction from the motor moving from what I can feel. Okay, so chain lubrication is the next step. Okay, so now we need to put oil into the reservoir. This is just a general all-purpose chain oil. Um, a lot of people have been using this with this saw and it's had like great results. So I went with that one. Just open the cap and it's got an anti you still can lose if you pull hard enough, but uh, it's stop you losing the cap. Especially when you're out in the field and you drop that in a load of mud and soil. It's not going to end for a good day, you're not going to find it again. So I'm just going to tilt this on its side slightly, just to provide as much spillage as I can. It says to fill that so it's about five millimeters below, five millimeters below the fill line. You can't really see very well here. You can see a lot where the minimum is. This isn't as clear as it could be, but I'll show you now. Take my glove off. 
which I can't set my gloves now because I've got oil on my gloves and it's very slippy. So uh, yeah, so I can just dip my finger into the top of there and I can get some oil. But you can see, I don't know if you can see, I can see just in the inside, it's just below the fill cap. So I can get that fairly tight. I'm supposed to be able to test it by holding the chain and pointing it towards a stump just to see it will throw oil on there but I'm going to put a piece of scrap wood on the floor and I'm going to do the same with that. Alright guys so I've got my visor on, I've uh, got it all plugged in, ready to go, got some gloves on. We're not cutting anything, um, I'm just checking to make sure that the chain is being lubricated and it's going to deliver the oil to the surface. So we've got the chain brake here, so that's off, that's on. You have to press the button on the side to actually work it. You can actually press the trigger, so uh, let's keep this away from me and I'll give it a test. Actually not as loud as I thought it was going to be. So uh, that chain stops really fast too. There's not a lot of kick. It doesn't try and push back when I press it, so I can hold it fairly loosely with the left hand. And down. So now I need to point it down there and make sure it is delivering oil down. Alright guys, I don't know if you can notice this or not, but uh, just across here, there's a thin layer of oil. Uh, it's not throwing loads on there, the chain's really well lubricated. So uh, I'm going to set the saw horse, I'm going to cut some logs down that I got from the shed build and we're going to give it a test doing that. Alright guys, so we're set up on the saw horse here. I've got a couple of clamps here holding it in place nice and sturdy, so it's going nowhere. Uh, I'm going to stood up to the side and I'm going to cut straight through there, see how it goes. So let's give it a go. That was nice and easy. Uh, so the chain tries to pull you this way when you're cutting like that. So it's trying to pull you into the tree. And I was just letting the saw do the weight. In fact, I was lifting it up, especially when I got to the bottom end, just so it didn't fall through. So let's do another one. Titan saw, it's pretty good, especially if you're just going to be cutting up logs for the fireplace. This is a brilliant piece of kit, 50 quid, uh, well 55 with the oil, and that oil is going to last you years from what I can see, uh, depending on how much cutting you're doing obviously. So uh, I'm going to be taking the oil with me just because I don't know how much it's going to be using and how fast it'll be. But all in all, really happy with the purchase. Thanks for watching guys.